Payada, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. You know how it is. This is the amazing, amazing, insightful show that you always would love to see. This is Max Stories, where we bring to you the insights of that of a famous celebrity. You know, those ones that you see on TV and you wonder how they tick? Well, we bring them to you on the show and we tell you a lot of things. We have a lot of things to talk about. So today, right, today on the show, without any long scenario, without any further ado, let me introduce to you the man who is here with us today. Yes, I said it is the man. He's been gracing the screens for quite some time. And for those of you who know him, he's very controversial. Very, very, very controversial. The one and only David Jones. David, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I, I almost dodged your hand. You wanted uh, <laughs> want to set me up. You did that. You wanted to set me up. <laughs> <laughs> You got funny like saying it's scratching. I'm fine, I'm good. Uh -huh. looking, Always good. Looking sharp, looking oh sharp, God. looking sharp. It my seems God. there's so much money. Like you, you, you look so sharp where you know you don't, where you don't do drugs. Yeah, yeah. actually that's true because that's according true. to the to the to the idea, when you do drugs, you're like you're slow. You understand? Yeah, that's true. Oh, oh, yeah. like, oh, 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 sharp. <laughs> <laughs> now wait to but you know what? People usually think that you know, the things you do sometimes. Yeah. That you actually add a bit of, you know, to ginger. No, 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 no. Personality because the, you're very hyper in your, in your, in your, your you have a your very huge presence. Yes. So how do you keep that up? The thing is that I'm, a, I'm an actor. Okay. You understand? So I, for what I'm doing, yeah. I had to create a character, mm -hmm. you know, for that, which is um, an addict. Mm. You understand? You see my clips, you know, um, on saying of drugs, you see that I, I have that, um, that um, character key. Addict, mm -hmm. you understand? And, and the reason, reason being that mm -hmm. I don't want to appear like saints. No, 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 you know, this, no, no. this my, this is will be my target like this now. Mm -hmm. If you appear like saints, you understand? No, they don't no, even give you audience. No, they just, yeah, yeah. you know. So they need to watch or, or see that clip mm -hmm. and be like, ah. I want to watch. Ah, of course, now as they go, now as they go, we don't get experience. Now, yeah. yeah. Okay, now. That's it. Now, talking about this drug situation now in our country. Yeah. Things don't happen. Everything don't clear. Yeah. Now there's a there's a ban on some certain kind it's of codeine, yeah, codeine, and, all, yeah. and all that. The situation has gotten critical. Yes. Yeah? So what do you think actually leads to these kind of situations? Why do you think people go into drugs in the first place? If you had asked me this question, like you know, a couple of you know years back, I'll tell you, oh, I don't know. Mm. Mm. You understand? But the truth is, is, is that you know, seeing what's happening, you know, pressure. Yeah. Um. Uh, influence, true, <coughs> true. You know, because you know, I also produce music. I at, at some at some point, I was in my studio. I had some um, young um, yeah, people who mm -hmm. I wanted to work with. Mm -hmm. you know, and before I stepped out, I stepped back in. They already, you know, they're taking it on. Ah. Keep my own for one corner like this. This is not the same. As producer, I was I suppose you need to shop on the level. You know, so when I entered, I was like, ah, what's this? It's yeah. Like, I was like, oh, now it's the go now. Like, I'm like, I don't know how to say go. <laughs> A fact, <laughs> sexual end. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and they're like, are you serious? Uh, I say, I'm serious now. Really? I say, you mean say you need the. Yeah. Why can't you do all this thing? You know? According to what one of them told me, he yeah. said, he said that a no belief, mm. Mm. say, a simply get that kind of ginger or sing mm -hmm. or even you know, without. Without adding some extra. Kind of, you know, so he saw a different, you know, mm -hmm. you know angle of the whole thing. So, mm -hmm. influence. Hmm. Matters, you know. Sure. You look at your, you look at your favorite um, celebrity, and you know they sing these things, mm -hmm. preach it, and you be like, oh, that's the way forward. Mm -hmm. That's look, it. But looking at it, though, I think the reason why this is happening because most times we see some celebrities come out on interviews and tell you that uh, that the reason why they, they 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 need a bit of ginger when they want to go on stage, yeah. they might not actually tell you that it is so 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 so. Yeah. But when we ask them, they be like, ah, well, you know how it is now. He's, he's, he's probably a shy person. Yeah. Right, and to go on stage, you need a bit of ginger. So, do, don't you think that sometimes these celebrities also, you know, influence these young people? Of course, they do. And and on that thing, I want to, I, I want to, you know, buttress days. You know, the the so called ginger that they want to bring us. Yeah. Where does it come out from? Mm. It comes out from inside. From inside. I mean, inside. From it's inside. there. From inside. True. I mean, it's True. there already. True. You have True. it already. Mm. You understand? Mm. So for me, you know, there are a lot of um, substances out there that, that are really, really highly, highly addictive. Mm -hmm. And when something is highly addictive, man, you just need to avoid it. Otherwise, before you know, you're in, like you are in neck deep, mm -hmm. you know, and all that. Mm -hmm. So 
So how that's my take on that. So now as 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 as, as an entertainer and as someone who's in the industry that people look up to, yeah. has there been any time you put under pressure by probably co-calling or you know situations around you to also get involved in it might not be the serious one, but you know having this guy here big, you need something to calm down or something like that. Has there been any time you've been in that kind yeah, of pressure? I I I I won't put it pressure. Okay. Pressure because I don't know. I, I, I always say this. I, I think I'm able. Mm. I'm able mm. because I've, I've never had reason to to be that pressure. You know, have that kind of pressure to you know go into to go into stuff with something. Then pressure on the lighter. You know. Yeah. You 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 could the people around you do it. Yeah. They do yes. it and, and they make you feel like he. <laughs> you're not more. You, you know, don't. You don't feel more. You know another. That. I mean that pressure too. Yes. You know they don't have to tell you and what not to tell do, you yeah. and all that. Because you know. you're there. Yes. I get that. that I get that kind of. That type of thing. Mm. So, so how, how do you handle it? So for people watching now, because I know that a lot of people in this kind of situation, how do you? Yeah, for, for me, I, I I don't call it pressure because it's not like okay. I, I just see it like I mean, okay, let me tell you one thing about me. Mm. I see myself like can do all things. Okay, okay, you understand? Okay. Like everything is the mind. True, true. Like it's, it's the mind, you know. Mm. Me, I can do this. I don't need this. Mm. I don't need that. Okay. I can do this. It's, it's in there already. God don't put all this there already. So you don't need the external factor to I don't need that. Kai, kai. Nice, you understand? Nice, 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 nice. nice. Okay. okay, so now, this current uh, drug ban now, do you think it's going to reduce the, the rates of drug abuse in the country? Of course. Mm. You know, a, a lot of people think it won't, but I, I, think, I think it will because I'll tell you why. Now, if you have um, 100 people mm -hmm. who buy these drugs, use them yeah. and the drug goes for let's say and it's available yeah. it goes for let's say 10 kobo mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. two days you get people buy it yeah. plus, plus people get money don't want to get money go and enter yeah, yeah. all that now when you ban it mm -hmm. it's not available maybe you go into a black market normal yeah the price yeah. going the price increase. Increase. Yeah. you understand yeah. definitely the people with the bank will reduce because mm -hmm. not everybody will be able to afford it mm -hmm. and not everyone will have that boldness to can look for waiting day they go to the black market. So, yeah. yeah, even though he may not, this drug abuse um, thing we are fighting, it's, it's, you know, it's just for us to save lives and you know, mm -hmm. you know, reduce it. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, I don't see any society that is drug free. I was, I was speaking to a couple of people and they said them banning these ones now will just make them get more creative because they might decide to start mixing different things. Because if this is not available. Yeah, they can fall back into something. But some people they safe now. So like like some people don't 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 they saved based on say they ban this thing because mm -hmm. because right now it, like some people who, who, who cannot get these things anymore. Mm -hmm. They start showing symptoms. True. People who didn't notice who start noticing, mm -hmm. then help will start coming. But they start seeing reason, reason to seek help. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. But at that time when it was you know available every every you wouldn't know, of course you wouldn't know <laughs> you understand mm. you know mm. that's the, I, I just thought about that now and, mm. and I think it's a good point mm. makes sense makes sense but to, 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 to another angle of this now they say the like if you wanna if you wanna um, quench fire you don't go after the smoke now. you yeah. go to the roof of it. yeah I agree. and they say that banning the the, the sales of these drugs yeah. is not the actual um, solution to the problem. Find, let, should they find out what the problem is that makes the youths go after these drugs? Yeah, it is. It is always. It's, it's beyond that. For me, it's, it's always good to you know, cut it from the root. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's beyond that. I will explain that to you. Like you know, if you, if you follow, my, follow my videos, you mm -hmm. see, you see, I say, I say, for me, drug abusers are not like criminals. You understand? They are sick. They need okay. help. Okay. Because I've, I've had some people who inbox me and tell me. I'm like, I want so it's, it's like, like they try yeah. and no feet, you understand? Yeah. They need help. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go about um, arresting all these guys who abuse these, um, these drugs, mm -hmm. you know, be locking them up and all that. Yeah. But if you like lock them tell you they come back again. They if, you, enter if, you, if, if you know carry them, they go cure them, go yeah. treat them and all that. You you understand? Again. Enter again. So for me, the people who produce this stuff, mm -hmm. the people who sell this stuff, mm -hmm. who distribute this stuff, you understand? Mm -hmm. They are the criminals. And that's like the roots. Mm -hmm. I see that that's a, that's, a, that's a different angle from where you you know you are you are asking to look at it now mm -hmm. in terms of what causes mm -hmm. um, this stuff. No matter anything that causes this thing, if those things are not available, people are not going to go abuse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the people who are making it available are the ones who are yes. actually the criminals, putting the criminal act 
Yeah. Selling it, making it available. There are, there are some people who have this pressure. Like, let's say, for example, my people have pressure. Mm -hmm. That's why we'll be raising inside. Yeah, pressure. Some people yeah. have um, emotional pressure and, you know, and all that. If person never can't tell them, say, take this thing, you'll be okay. Mm -hmm. Or they don't know, say, ah, take this thing, you'll be okay. Mm -hmm. Um, that pressure go, go reset yourself. <laughs> then say, we know how to go. Say, the pressure go reset yourself. When the pressure is not to say, um, nothing to go down, it go calm down. If I say, if you can cry, 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 don't Nobody come to me. Nobody answer that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <only. laughs> that's true, that's true, that's true. That's true. So, so, yeah, yeah, looking at it that way, if it wasn't available at all, then yeah. no, no matter the level of pressure you get, yeah. You would calm down at a particular time. Yeah. But now, looking at, at it, because this drug thing, it got people really angry. It got people really pissed at uh, at the government yeah. to, a, to, a, to a level. They're like, ah, why is it that the government is focusing on people who are selling these people are trying to make a living by selling these things and they are not going into armed robbery or, you know, other illicit acts. That why are they trying to close down someone's business or means of livelihood? by banning them from selling these things. And I'm like, okay, in a case like this, where it is harmful to society, then the government has a right to cop it. Yeah. But in this case now, is there any other way the government can go about this, aside just banning the the, the, the availability of these drugs, do you think? There's is there any other way they there can are, go about There are so many other ways, but first things first. First things first, actually. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes the great thing really happens, you just first the immediate um, matter yeah, yeah, where the they, first thing you, you know, see. They, yeah. they go first ban our first, they can't sit down mm. with we won't do. Okay. You, know, you cannot watch these things keep happening. People are dying. What are you thinking of what next to do? Mm -hmm. So for mm -hmm. me, for me I think that ban is not a, it's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. Why do you think of what next? You know, just because usually these youths are blaming it on the fact that they are no job. Before. They say, ah, job will be done. Before we just be keep ourselves busy, <laughs> job no day. It's like inside that job when we no day, you don't get job. Ah, so now, so not true. <laughs> but look at it, it's totally true that it's only when they are, I, 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 I say this every time, you have the ability to create the job you want for yourself. Yeah. So if you don't do that, if you're waiting for somebody to create it, then yeah. now you go to shout say job no day, job no day. Not true. All right, so now moving on to the job matter. The waiting can you go this part say jobs now, because there is what they call this internet fraud. Now, about this one now, because recently the EFCC has been all out. Yeah. Going into um, clubs, wow. recreational really? centers. Yes. Wow. Going into clubs to arrest people and stuff like that. This has been in, um, in existence for over 10 years in Nigeria, I would say over 10 years. I have, right now, I think it's my man. It is. What? How now that ESCC are going into clubs, do you think it's a, it's a it's a smart move for them to start going and busting people? Because now, the same way we had an issue with SARS at one time, that they were arresting people wrongly. Or because of okay, you can look like this now, they'll just assume you have to be a Yahoo boy. You must be into fraud. So don't you think that there's a possibility that ESCC can also be making a mistake sometimes? Yeah, uh, as 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 regards that. Yeah, you know, Nigeria would be. Nigeria would be. You know what I'm saying? I think, in fact, me were there, so I would yeah. like this. So one yeah. time I guess I was going to um, Frankfurt from from Oweri, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. Of course, don't say you go by road. Like, no, no. They would they inside the our car for us. Yeah. I'm like, see how these people just take a the cross and say, "Come gone, ha, seriously, oh, come gone, just like this, come down for now." Ah ah. What? Ah, like split second. Are you serious? Yes, the next thing they show them bundle of disciples. Ah, ah. who they be? They show ID card. Hey, they say the man. I'm serious. I'm saying, don't nah, joke. Look at this. I'm serious. Though. In fact, they told me. They told look me that they, they, they told me they say you are a criminal. But I will lock you up two months. You will know how far. I'm serious. It was not bad, but anyway, we go to the station, they do it, we do the one wow. you know, but the, as you know, I'm not a criminal, so yeah. come out. Um, coming down to our point again, hmm. these things, things will always go wrong while you do things like what you just said now. Hmm. But I I think desperate measures, how they said it again, say it again. Uh, desperate something. Uh -huh. Uh, breathe, breathe, desperate, uh, something like that. 
Is it, is it, when the going gets tough, yeah, eh? the tough gets going. That kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. No man, no man. As I go say, in the area, in the area, buzuzu man, no man. Kai, I'm gonna buy shaky. Is it when? They say, they say, they say when nights don't become nights. Yeah. Even that animal they call idiot. Mm. Go turn to meat. Go turn to meat. <laughs> you jump like that. <laughs> that. What's my point? The point is, the point is that, you, like you said, it's getting around pants. Yes, it is. It is. Getting, getting around pants. Yeah. I know say we know say our Nigerian system not too organized. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I I can't really tell if they're doing something good or bad. Mm-hmm. If they use good results, mm-hmm. yeah, that's my own take on it. Yeah, because people were saying ah, we have politicians that are stealing money in in the Senate houses and this and that. Why are they not coming after the small small young boys that are just stealing? It doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me what, 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 what you just said now because mm-hmm. because say you're, you're, someone the thief somewhere. Yeah. yeah. So you can't leave your thief. <laughs> Some people catch your thief. Ah, for me, they catch all the old thief at once. <laughs> thief not thief. Thief not thief. Bah, thief not thief. thief. Ah, well, well it's, it's, it's good though. So as, as, as an individual now, you are an advocate against drug abuse. Yes. Now, why did you decide to get into this thing in the first place? The, why, the, why did you decide to start this movement? The, the society I find myself in, mm. you understand? I had this my studio guy who I trained for, you know, mm-hmm. music production. Very talented guy. Mm. Get two children. Sink. Like the guy they sink. Mm. And they be powerful. Yes. Yeah, mm. So this guy matter, this way they mix, 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 mm. mix, drink, mix this one for men. So nine, mm. they go, go somewhere, go, go I'm looking to go drink. Yeah, yeah. I blew, the guy collapsed. I said he collapsed. I'll speak with you now. I don't know if you talk to the guy because the shit out from the because the guy don't don't know. Don't know. Hey! That's just one. You understand? Mm. I get this my friend too, you know, way back um, those days in school. This guy wants to know why I go enter the corner with this one kind, you know. Mm-hmm. As me, I'll be joking. If I see I say you, see a light. One day the guy para, tell me talk, see what's in that small boy. In the way John wants to know why in the in control. Mm. And all those things. That's so it is that. As I speak with you, the guy tell me to say if you see the guy, if you see the guy compare him the before and now. Mm. Uh, this guy again for this, my streets where my studio been day, you understand? Clean guy, sweet guy, the guy go stay so organized, streets, jam, mm-hmm. all those things. Mm-hmm. Now, if I drive past airport hotel, that time, um, wait for a kitchen, they sell food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I go see this guy, the guy is a junkie. Mm. You can't knock my window. Ah, ah, ah. ah. oh God. As in, the first time I see this guy, wow. fine guy, look at like this. Compared to and, people, and, look now. And, and people will tell me, people will come and tell me that these things say you need to get effect. Now lie. Hmm. 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 Now lie. Hmm. See, don't even start. Hmm. Because forget it won't go down well. That's the truth. Ladies and gentlemen. Now you're out. You're out, you're out. Okay. So, so uh, the, it's, it's good that you decide to get you know, involved in this because of this. And it's a good thing that someone like yourself that people look up to and is pointing people to this direction, you know, about the situations happening. So just tell people out there who are probably struggling with this drug abuse and how do you think they can come out of it? People struggling with it, how do you think they can come out of it? And those who are being influenced by, you know, trying to get it, like you say, and people, you, don't, you don't let yourself be prepared. Yes. So how can they get out of this circle that they found? Yeah, the, the, the truth is that every man has control of himself. That's the truth. If you, if you don't know, you just know it now. That's one. Two, again, uh, you, you know you can be in a crowd and still be lonely. Mm. You understand? Mm. So even we like this, sometimes we need to do other people. We need to know, reach out to people, reach out to them. True. You understand? Give them a hug or something, talk True. to them. No, don't have two day. Now, if you see my last video titled Hello Doctor, you know, so it's talking about, talking about doctors doing the right thing. Mm-hmm. And you, who's an addict, you understand? Seeking for help. Mm. You understand? If 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 you know say you be addict, seek help. It's never too late to seek help. Mm. You understand? And you as a doctor, see, you know why I did this song, Hello Doctor, Hello Doctor. Mm-hmm. Okay. I entered my pharmacy. Okay. I said I can buy medicine that time. Mm-hmm. One guy just entered. The guy looked obviously stoned. Mm. And the guy managed to enter. Put my back of my glass. <laughs> he enters stand like this. You need to come hey, hey, hey. You Are you serious? I do that on that day. level. I look at like this. I take side. I look the pharmacist man. What's up? What's going to happen next? That man say, 
Now the big one, do the small one don't finish. Ah! Hey! <laughs> the guy said, bring her. Ah. Oh, no. Then it was three kilos, three five, I remember. The guy just like, just bring her. Bring her. Instantly, inspiration. Hey. Hello, doctor. <laughs> because for me, I was like, not true now. Like, as a doctor, wow. person come meet you. Even if he, that this guy was looking, was looking obviously stoned. Yeah. Okay, even if he, he, wasn't, he wasn't looking that way. At least now, he was still prescription. Because the wife, and all that. Yeah. You know? Okay, no, take this one. Yeah. You don't need this kind of thing. But no, 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 no. You don't give one. He won't sell him. You understand? <laughs> so, my point here is that <laughs> if you, if, if you, an addict and all that, we, then they know. They say, no, they did trouble. Mm. But sometimes, shame the good they admit. True. Yes, that's Inside their heart, mm -hmm. they know. Mm -hmm. They know, say, Omo, we did trouble. Wow, they... Now, pride never made them angry. Hi. You understand? So just put, just cut that um, pride, put it on one corner, and then just, you know, seek help. Trust me. You know, you can even inbox me, self. I, I, I go, I'll hook you up. I beg. If yes. people want to reach your social media, yes. tell them your social yeah, media. Yeah, my, my handle is at David Jones David. Hmm. And like David Jones David for everywhere else. Mm -hmm. Twitter, David, David Jones David. Instagram, David Jones David. Mm -hmm. YouTube, David Jones David. Mm -hmm. Facebook, David Jones David. Real life, David Jones David. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard it from the man himself. And this is, he's the advocate against drug abuse. He's telling you guys, don't do drugs at all. If you start, so uh, it won't go down well. That's where they go. That's where they go. It won't, it won't go down well. It won't. Bro, thank you. Thank you very much for, for yeah. this such insightful interview. I was hoping that as, as you don't start this movement, so yeah. people could join you. Anything they go forward. I almost done the hand again. You want to do it? <laughs> now we go fight. I control here. myself. We'll control that. We'll fight right here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, see you guys next week on next episode. Like, we always bring you the best. Don't go in short. Let's enjoy you. Enjoy. Thank you. Very much. All right, bro. Thank you for your time. All right, man. We appreciate you. I won't dodge you again. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, say, I will you my <laughs> to enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.